Hey everybody, part two of my mini arcade machine gameplays. Uh, got me a little smaller tripod to mount this on, so now <laughs> not as uncomfortable. But, all right, part number three on this list, we've got Centipede. Uh, and I tell you right here, this is loads better than the first two of uh, Space Invaders and Pac-Man. I tell you, just check out the screen. It's a lot better. First of all, you got the joystick right here. Um, of course, it was a trackball game. Whatever, for whatever reason, I guess they put the joystick on there, kind of be a little bit cheap on the parts because you churn out the same joystick for all the games. You know, you don't have to worry about the research and design to put new trackball or controls on it. Anyway, um, you got the start button right here. You got the fire button right there. Of course, the on and off switch. That mutes the sound. Um, centipede. That's pretty cool side art. I really like that. That is that's pretty pretty slick. Uh, right there, the other side of that. Um, that's pretty cool. Bottom, nothing on it. Top, nothing on it. The back. That's unscrew that to put the battery in. Batteries. All right. Let's check this out. Uh, let me turn this on and let me just show you the. The night and day difference between this one and the uh, first two in the uh, series. As you can see, it's a little mini LCD screen, and you're playing it. You will play it a uh, lot, lot smoother. As you can see, it's... <laughs> that. That's why I wish the reissue of this Pac-Man... Uh, had an LCD screen, which I'll show you. I'll uh, I'll definitely uh, play it. I don't have much of a problem with this being a non-trackball game. I guess I'm kind of used to playing the home version on the Atari, and uh, played it with a joystick, so. I can see where the trackball definitely has advantages. Now, there, there are people out there that say this is the NES ROM version of uh, Centipede. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but you, you're probably right if you, if you guys want to let me know in the comments if this is the actual NES version. They just kind of emulated it. That's pretty cool if that is. Ah, all right. All righty. Getting intense here. <laughs> all right, there we go. Ah. Ah. Well, that was that escalated quickly, <laughs> but yeah, okay. You see, you see the difference. I mean, that was just wow. You know what I'm saying? That and like I said, hopefully they'll uh, possibly re-release the first two like this. But uh, I don't know. But that that's good version. <laughs> Centipede. All right. Now we got number three out of the way. Let's go with number four, which is Cubert. Also, check this out. Look at that. LCD screen. Beautiful. Let's play this. Again, this is, from what I understand, the also the NES version. It's just emulated. Uh, if you guys want to clarify in the comment section, I appreciate it. Uh, but uh, let's give it a shot. I mean, look look at that. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Actually, let's do this first before I... Uh, let me pause this bad boy. All right, as you can see, here's the side art for Cubert. That is uh, pretty neat. Look at that. Pretty cool. There's that. Same thing as the other side. Uh, on off switch, the silence, silencer. <laughs> the uh, start and pause button. Uh, nothing up top, nothing on the bottom. 
battery compartment right here. And uh, there we go. So that does sound like the Konami pause. So that's leading me to believe that this is the NES version. Because I think Ultra made the Qbert version for the NES. Which is a split off. It's basically Konami. I mean, they had to... Konami only could make so many games a year for the NES. So I think they started a second company, Ultra, to kind of get around that loophole. But, uh... But, all right, there is a Qbert. And I want to show you this. It's got diagonals instead of up and down, left and right. It's the diagonals, so like the arcade. It takes a little bit to get used to. Whoa. All right. All right, cool. Not a bad version of Cubert. All right. Ah. Level two. Nope, wrong way. I miss the digitized voices like the arcade. <laughs> you can understand it takes up a lot of memory to put those in there. Well, at least back in the day it did. All right. A little bit faster. Sometimes this joystick feels a little stiff, kind of doesn't want to go where I want to go. All right. All right. Ugh. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think I just did that wrong. Wrong way. Oh. All right, it does get confusing, the diagonals. I, 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 to be honest with you, I'm used to the up, down, left, and right uh, control scheme from the home versions, to be honest with you. I got so used to that, I'm not used to the uh, that, the arcade version, basically. But that was Qbert. That That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I like it. And too bad the little um, marquee up here um, doesn't light up. That would be pretty cool. So that was Qbert. Let's go. Now here we go with asteroids. Now here's number five. Here's where it uh, takes a step backwards. It goes backwards um, compared to the, those two over there. So let's, let's take a look at that. Um, you can see the it, artwork looks great. It looks pretty awesome. Um, got the on off switch kind of the uh, mute it looks I mean all these kind of look similar <laughs> but look at that side art that looks pretty cool check out that side art just kind of reversed uh, nothing on the bottom nothing on the top the battery compartment here like I said they look pretty much the same in, in terms of the shape and everything it just they just slapped on different uh, artwork to it. Um, you've got your start button right here and the fire button in hyperspace looks like right there. 
All right. All right. Here we go. Let's let me kind of show you what this. Uh, eh. As you can see, it's pre-static uh, images. Uh, see, I, basically, I'm just rotating around. Yeah, I'm just shooting. Yeah. Nothing special. <laughs> doesn't play much like the original asteroids which uh, this is one of the weaker titles of course it's got the arcade sound effects so that's something all right let me turn this light out and see if it, it'll let's we'll see if it'll show up better all right Mmm, kind of, sort of. Mm. It's hard to tell the things going on the screen, really. If it's hard to tell on the camera, it's, it's really hard to tell on the, uh, the actual gameplay. Uh, this is one of the weaker titles. Like I said, this is kind of reverts back to the uh, Pac-Man and Space Invaders with the pre-rendered already. All they do is just light up and you... Kind of like the Tiger games and the uh, Coleco games. So, eh, weaker, weaker of the titles. Um, but, eh, it's, it's Asteroids. <laughs> or uh, uh, vaguely resembles Asteroids. But anyway, that was number five. So, join me next time. We will do part three of this. So, uh... Got a few more games to go, guys. So uh, it'll get better, trust me. <laughs> but thanks for joining me for part two. We will pick it up on part three with Frogger. So uh, take care, and I will see you next time.